So, okay. I want to go back to two weeks ago, if I may. Okay. So two weeks ago, we did the Obscure Sci-Fi Channel shit burger, Stonehenge Apocalypse. Yes. Starring the wildly popular obscure actor Misha Collins. Yes. Now, the Mish. There are two, yeah, yeah, the Mish. There are two things about Misha Collins. Thank you, Maxwell. Two things about Misha Collins that I wanted to touch upon really quick. Yeah. First off, number one, Misha is known for his role as Castiel. Uh, or Cass in the show Supernatural, which is soon to start its 89th season. Yes. Uh He's also well known for, and this is interesting, two things. Jack and shit (laughs) are the two things that he is known for other than Supernatural. Uh, Literally, the guy has done a bajillion bit parts, and it just so happened that one bit part stuck. Basically, I find it very amusing that I know so much about a television show that I have absolutely no interest in watching. Yeah, welcome to my life there, man. If anybody, I can go out to a bar and I can overhear a conversation and get into it with, yeah, Misha Collins. Yeah, he's Castiel on Supernatural, right? I don't know the real name of a fucking single person on The Walking Dead. And I've watched it through. I've watched it from the, from the first episode all the way through like five times now. I don't know their fucking names, but I know Misha Collins plays Castiel, yep. the angel on the angel on Supernatural. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then Dean from Gilmore Girls plays Sam on Supernatural and not his brother Dean. And Sam is Dean and Dean is Sam, yeah. It's, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So uh yeah, he Misha Collins has done a bajillion bit parts. He was a bad guy in CSI. He was this and that. He was in an episode of of uh, was it Nip Tuck? I think it was Nip Tuck. He was in ep- he was in an episode of Nip Tuck where he had his ribs removed so he could suck his own dick. I can say this. <laughs> All of the kids have have left the room, so I can go into detail. So he goes to plastic surgeons to see if he can get the rib put back in his body because it's it, it's become too much of a temptation to suck himself off. He just spends all of his time doing it. <laughs> and it's become too maddening for him, so he wants to get the ribs put back in. And there is a pretty interesting scene where he gets into position. In that sort of weird Al Yankovic position, you yeah. know, where he puts his whole head and torso he puts his two legs behind the back of his head and he's hopping around Weird Al Yankovic style apparently Misha Collins can do that so if Weird Al Yankovic has a long enough schlong he can definitely do himself (laughs) just want to take this time to put that image in all of your heads there's a good chance Weird Al Yankovic can suck himself off (laughs) that's award winning podcasting right there (laughs) <laughs> it is award winning. So, so recently the supernatural fan base was a glow over Misha Collins's upcoming role as Elliot Ness in an upcoming episode of a show on NBC. Okay. Called Timers, Time Stoppers, Time Hunters, Timeless, Time. Time cops, okay. time time fighters, time stoppers, time crimes, crime time, crime time stoppers, <laughs> something like that. Something like that. You 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 yeah. get the general. You get the gist. Yes. Crime stoppers, time crimers, something like that. Yeah. Anyway, the show was created by one of the guys who helped create Supernatural, and so they cast. Misha Collins in a role, and they plugged it all over the world of Supernatural. Oh, hey, Misha Collins fans, be sure to check out Misha Collins in an upcoming episode of whatever that show is called, Time Crimers, Crime Timers, 
time, timeless time stoppers, or whatever it's called. So everybody was all abuzz, and there were commercials doing Supernatural, and everybody was all excited, and the internet went nuts over it. Reddit just had a heart attack over Misha Collins' upcoming role. And so, of course, Natasha had to watch the episode, and she was all excited to watch this episode of Time Crimers, Crime Timers, Time, Time, Time Travels, Crime Stoppers, whatever the hell the show is called. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, Maxwell, in the middle of a really good role, but yes, what is it you would like to say? Yes, you can have a drink of the root beer. It's not that great. I'm just letting you know that now. So we sit down and we watch the episode. And let me tell you how that episode went. Okay. Uh, it does smell good, Maxwell. Most root beer does. In order to explain to you how Misha Collins did in this episode. Yes, Maxwell! I want to say, this root beer can actually make you really fast. Really? It gives you superpowers. Really fast. Wow, that's amazing, Maxwell. You just ran around the world. <laughs> and back. What? That's incredible. Yeah, people can't see that because podcasting is more of an audio audio medium. Hey, maybe not draw on the bananas. So, being a parent makes you say sentences out loud that you never thought you would ever have to say. Yeah. Like, don't draw on the bananas. <laughs> So in order to explain how Misha Collins did on this episode, I need to talk about Monty Python. Okay. People, when they think of Monty Python, they think of Monty Python, the TV show, which lasted for a long time. And they think about Monty Python, the movies, and all of the, and they think of all these things. But I feel that a lot of people forget the fact that Monty Python released a number of albums. So many albums. And so much, so, so so many funny things that they did on records that they never could on a stage or in a movie or something. Some really good stuff. And one thing was a that they did on one of their records was it was a fake educational record teaching you how to be a great actor. And the, the record that you bought was supposed to have scripts to help you become a great actor. Yeah. Now turn to page three. In the following play, you will be playing the part of Montague, the wealthy aristocrat. And so the, the play starts, and it's two cops talking to themselves. Nasty business down at the Thames. What's that? Montague has shot himself. Really? Right, so, and then, oh, we apologize, but it seems as if the part of Montague was killed before the play even began. Yes. So, anyway, okay, yes. everyone's all excited. Misha Collins! Elliot Ness! In an episode of Super Time Crime Fighting Time. Time Crime. Crime Time. Time Fighters. And so we're all sitting down. We're excited to watch it. He was in two. Uh, he was in two very quick scenes before he was gunned down. <laughs> and that was it. Because there, it, it, whoever the guy is who played Kovach in ER, he has uh, gotten a hold of a time machine and is now going through time, destroying time. Okay. And so, like. These scientists who invented time travel now have to go through time to find him and stop the things he has done. And there's nothing original about the show at all. The only thing that's even Which sounds exactly like uh, Legends of Tomorrow. Yeah, that's why I haven't bothered to fully remember the name of the show. I know I could look it up, but it's it, the show doesn't... The show hasn't earned my effort. Yes. So, time crime, crime time, timeless time, fighter times. Yeah, he's in two scenes and then he's killed. And so that was hilarious. I just want, I wanted to bring, I wanted to bring that story up about super time, crime time, fighting time. During well, I'm, I'm wondering if, uh, has, has Tasha seen that? Has Tasha seen what? That episode of Super Time Crime yes. Time Fighting Time? 
Yeah. Oh yeah, she saw the episode. We all saw it together, and we were so excited to see Misha Collins. And then he literally died like ten minutes into the episode, and, and it, you know, she was pissed, and the fandom was pissed because it's obvious that like, oh god damn it, it's obvious that this show was suffering and this show was hurting in the ratings, and the, they knew that they could get the supernatural fandom behind this show by putting one of the supernatural guys on the show. This is this is crass. They yeah. were just using us, and we're all pissed off, and we're never going to watch this show again. Although I really do want to see what happens in the next episode. God damn it. <laughs> I guess we're watching Super Crime Time Fighting Crime now, and we did end up watching like two or three episodes, well, so they did get us. I, I, I'm wondering if, um, if he was wearing his supernatural clothes. <laughs> I don't know. I can tell you he wasn't sucking himself up. Like, like, did he do that? Did he, like, hop over to the next set and That's do that point. on his lunch break? Yeah, I'm assuming that I'm assuming that the show was filmed in Canada. I assume everything is filmed in Canada now. Yeah. Canada is the new Hollywood. Yes. Vancouver is the new Hollywood. Mm-hmm. So I just wanted to bring that up during the Stonehenge Apocalypse episode, and I forgot. So that's number one. Next is part B. So... Misha Collins has had a strange life, including being an intern at the White House during the Clinton administration. So I was listening to our Stonehenge Apocalypse episode. It's a good episode, by the way. And you brought up the fact that there's a damn good, better than damn good chance that Misha Collins was 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 uh, could have banged Monica Lewinsky. Yes. Mm-hmm. Or or yes. at least even if he didn't bang Monica Lewinsky, it, it it's pretty major. This whole situation, Misha Collins was was not next to history, but he 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 was like catty corner to history. Yes. With fellow intern Monica Lewinsky. That's a pretty crazy random happenstance. And I didn't have a counter to that during the episode. So anywho, I looked it up. So I guess this is a follow up, which is nice because we hardly ever do that. Anyway, I looked it up and apparently he had a, a tiny four month internship, so not that long really. And his internship ended right before Monica Lewinsky started hers in 1995. So they never crossed paths. However, that very tiny uh, brush with history, again, uh, catty corner to history, was enough for him to write an article about it in the Baltimore Sun. So Misha Collins is a published author. He wrote an article about it. January 29th, 1998, the Baltimore Sun. He wrote it under his real name. So it's uh, Dimitri Click Click Dirk, whatever the hell, something (laughs) rushed up. I read the article for about five paragraphs and then I tapped out because it is dry as hell. Do not recommend 100% reading this article, but... Just FYI, yeah. just to let you know, you can add journalist to the list of things that Misha Collins is. Yeah. We've been talking about Misha Collins. And Why? Su- suddenly, uh, Natasha has appeared with a, uh, a slightly creepy uh, gl- glimmer in her eye. And you're wearing like your Misha Collins shirt, so it's oh, really no, like... No, uh, nah, uh-uh. No, this is not a Misha Collins shirt. This is a Gishwitz shirt. Just because oh, okay. he's the one that started okay. it doesn't yeah. mean shit. Okay. <laughs> not a Misha Collins shirt. I'm going to fuck you up, Steve. 10-4. I gotcha. I gotcha. I came out here because I have to go get a Oh, uh, uh, sorry. You're going to miss our... Well, we're finishing up the Misha Collins What stuff. are you saying about uh, it? First off, I forgot to mention during the Stonehenge Apocalypse episode all about how you supernatural fans were tricked into watching one episode of time crime fighting time time timeless time, time, time timeless. crime fighting time time jumpers time hoppers yeah so i mentioned that we and were oh man we were bamboozled yeah you guys were pissed they were like oh Misha collins is gonna be in this episode for like yeah. five seconds and then he did yeah yeah, yeah and then and then he was yeah and, and then he was killed. He was in like two scenes. Hella killed. Yeah. Hella dead. He deaded. 
Yeah, yeah but the but it did its job in that like you and I were like, oh, I fuck that show. For the next we need to watch this that. next week. I guarantee you though, the, the second half of that episode, the ratings dropped because literally, oh, definitely. I there were so many like people this. on my dash on Tumblr <laughs> bitching about how they killed Misha Collins off and he didn't have enough screen time and I'm not watching that anymore and I'm not gonna watch it ever again. I feel like I was duped. And, I mean, we were, but yeah, you, know. you absolutely were. And then, I was, and then I was talking about the article that he wrote in the Baltimore Sun about uh, the Monica Lewinsky scandal. He could have changed history. He had the potential of changing history if he would have fucked Monica. Yep. <laughs> that that whole thing couldn't may not have happened. Well, That's a good point. Or you know, if he would have just sucked Bill off himself. Yeah. And then Democrats would have been outraged by how the Republicans treated their honest, honest president, you know? So it would have been a landslide victory for Gore. So basically... Thanks, Mr. Collins. America. Yeah. No, didn't fuck off. We wouldn't have had President Trump if Misha Collins had just banged an, a fellow intern. Way to go, me, Dimitri, click, click, Dirk, whatever the hell. Yeah. Big, What's his name? What's big his name? perv. What's his name? You, want to me? you want to correct me so bad. What's his name? <laughs> Dimitri Kasparov. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Dimitri. we already we already know what kind of a giant perv he is. Okay. He couldn't fuck one chubby intern. Yeah. For his country. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. 